Let's learn the names of our harp strings. It's really important to know which string is which. So as you look at your harp, you'll notice that some of the strings are white and then some of them are red and some of them are blue or black. And that's just a visual guide to help us see which string is which, kind of like the black and white keys on the piano. So let's start out by looking at all the red strings. These are C's. That's a C. And I think it would be a really good idea for you to pluck all the strings the C strings on your harp. So starting at the bottom, just pluck the red string and say C. And the next one, C. It's another C. And the next one, C. And C. And maybe you have more C's than me. Keep on going and name all your C's. And then the next string we're gonna learn is the blue or black strings are called F strings. So find your lowest F, give that a pluck and say F. And then the next one, F and F. How many Fs do you have? Keep on and pluck all of them and tell yourself, this is the F string. And then the next one we're going to learn to, um, to identify is the A string. So if you have a look at all the white strings, you'll see some of them are in groups of three and some of them are in groups of two. So find one of the groups of three strings, three white strings in a row, and the middle one, is the A string. So you can pluck that. Yours might sound a little different to mine if your harp is tuned in a different key. It may sound a little lower than that, but just make sure it's the middle one of the three white ones and say to yourself A, and then find the next A, and another A finding all the A's on your harp. And now we're ready to learn all the other strings. So start with an A, anywhere on your harp, maybe in the middle or near the bottom, find your A. And this is where the musical alphabet starts. So this is an A, and then pluck the next string, that's a B. And then the next one is a C, you already know that. And then after that is a D, and then E, your E might sound a little different to mine as well. The A's, B's and E's might sound a little different, but that's okay as long as you're plucking the same string as me. Then you've got your blue or black one, which is an F, and then a G, and then we're back to A again, and it continues all the way up the harp. So what I suggest you do now is start from the very bottom of your harp, it might be a C or a G or an A, and um, identify what the lowest string of your harp is, and then pluck each string all the way up your harp, telling yourself this is a C, this is a D, and keep on going all the way up. Have you played another instrument before? If so, you'll probably know these musical alphabet names, but it will just be an adjustment to know where they are on the geography of your harp. But I'd love to know, put, it, put down in the comments, have you played another instrument before? Or is this your first time learning an instrument? Congratulations, it's so exciting. Now it's time for a little test to see if you've got familiar with all the different notes on your harp. So I'm going to call out the name of a note and then you've got to pluck all of those strings on your harp. Let's start out with D. Can you find the D strings on your harp? Pluck them now. Okay, I'm going to give you a test. This is what it should sound like. D. Did you find the right ones? If not, correct it. It's just to, just up from the C. Up is closer to you on the harp. <laughs> okay, the next one. Can you find a G? Pluck all the G's on your harp. Did you find them? It should sound like this. G. It's just up from the F string, that, that blue or black one. It's just one closer to you, one up from the F. Now I want you to find all the C strings on your harp. This is an easy one. You should know it by now. Can you pluck all your Cs? It should sound like this. Those are all the red strings. And what about Fs? Can you pluck all your Fs? This is just a little reminder. Your Fs should sound like this. They're the blue or black ones. F. Now one thing that might be happening is maybe some of your notes sound a little different to mine. You might be plucking the blue strings, but they don't sound the same as my strings when I pluck them. And that might be because your harp is out of tune. So in the next video, we're going to learn how to tune your harp. You can click through right here and we'll make sure your harp is perfectly in tune.